We all know what it's like to sit in back-to-back -back traffic and just wish we could fly above it all. Well, a new Israeli company is trying to turn that daydream into a reality by building a fleet of electric airplanes that can serve as our new form of regional transportation. Just imagine a trafficless highway in the sky. Well, joining us now is the CEO and co-founder of Aviation Aircraft to tell us more. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, I'm very excited about this interview because this is a, a, a unique startup that you have going for yourself. Tell us about what your company does. Uh, okay, so Aviation Aircraft builds a regional commuter, a regional commuter aircraft that can take nine passengers, fly a thousand kilometers between charges, and be all electric. Now, being all electric really makes it quiet, clean, but also, and most importantly in transportation, cheap. So it's doable in today's kind of financial environment. You can yeah. really be competitive with today's ground transport. Which is, okay, so, so talk to us a little bit about how this would impact the aviation industry as it is right now. That, that's a good question, because when we think of aviation industry, we use, usually think about going into a billion dollar uh -huh. facility, standing in line, taking our shoes off. The whole idea is to make it different. We want to take passengers from ground transport, from the buses, from the cars, from that terrible traffic yeah. that you talked about, and really give us an opportunity to use all of these small airfields and get from point A to point B, any so, point so, A to point So, you know, B. obviously these planes would not be flying, I think, what you said, more than a thousand... A thousand people. kilometers. Okay, yeah. very interesting. And, and they hold nine people, right? So what would the cost per person be like okay. if you were taking... That, that's exactly the point. Because uh -huh. it's electric, because of the low cost of energy, but mm -hmm. most importantly, because of the low cost of maintenance, if you will, You've seen a lot of cars stuck by the side of the road, yeah. but when have you ever seen a refrigerator stuck by the side of the kitchen? You don't really maintain these things, they yeah. just work. So the cost reductions are very dramatic and we're talking about um, an expected cost per seat per kilometer that's an equivalent to a taxi or a train, depending on where really? you go from. But then, I mean, then how many of these planes do you need in the, in the sky, right? Um, because That's actually a good question, because a lot of the things that we talk about today with the autonomous cars and all the mm -hmm. effects that sharing economies have on us, like Uber, that makes you own the seat for a while, or Airbnb, that makes you rent the, the house mm -hmm. or the room for a while, really has already happened in aviation, and this is what we do anyway. And we believe that with roughly... 1,000 aircraft, we can probably uh, take on about 10% of the regional transportation in a country like Israel. That's unbelievable. So my final question for you is, you know, what kind of environmental impact would a, a plane like this essentially have? One of the things we don't think about is the environmental impact of aviation generally. Um, if you will, 20% of the liquid fuels that are used in Israel today and in most modern economies actually go for aviation, mm -hmm. are used for aviation. That's a lot. That's a big number. So the ability to do this with a centralized or, um, let's say, energy that's manufactured in a centralized place really reduces uh, the use of uh, liquid fuels, of fossils in general, fossil fuels, and of course reduces the CO2 emissions that uh, relate to transportation, which are very significant. Unbelievable. Well, this is... Um I mean, I, I'm obviously flabbergasted, flabbergasted mm -hmm. because this is just um, really incredible to hear about. And, and I'm excited to see what the timeline is for when these are yeah. going to come out. I mean, it's We're not right. We're kind of aggressive, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so, we have so a yeah, we are building the full-scale aircraft as we speak. Okay. Uh, we expect it to fly within the 2018 time frame, showing it off at the next Paris Air Show in mid-2019. Oh, and wow. then go into the market. That's actually sooner so. than I thought. All right, well, um, you know, I'm excited to see the day that I'm going to be traveling in one of these guys. Thank you so much for coming in, Omer. Thank you for having us.